DJI Goggles 2. If I would have to summarize those goggles in one sentence, it would be good goggles, bad optics. Or rather, good goggles, cheap optics. My personal problem with the DJI Goggles 2 optics is that those lenses and those screens are small, relatively close to your eyes, you get a wide field of view and uncomfortable faceplate. At least not comfortable for all. In my case with my big head, I always had a problem to find a good position of the goggles on my face. They were just always too low, too close to my eyes and as a result I almost never was able to clearly see the bottom part of the screen. Not only corners though, for me almost all lower 20% of the screens were almost always blurry. Not really the best experience ever, if you ask me. What was the main reason of this situation? Well, the faceplate. In fact, the, the faceplate was just not correctly designed for my shape of a face. I tried different solutions and until recently nothing was really working for me, including this rubbery thingy that was supposed to move the goggles further away from your eyes, replacement foam I got from China that was basically almost exactly as uncomfortable as the original faceplate. I also tried some do-it-yourself solutions like for example putting some foam between the faceplate and the goggles. Nothing really worked until I got something from iFlight and it finally worked. This video was brought to you thanks to my patrons and YouTube channel members. Thank you guys, you're the main reason this channel keeps going. If you're not one of them, then please consider becoming one for as little as two bucks a month and yes, you will get some special benefits out of that deal. That's the original DJI faceplate for the goggles too. As you can see, it's highly profiled and if your face does not really perfectly fit the face that was a base for this faceplate, well, then you will have some problems. Just like I did. The fix comes in form of the DJI replacement sponge foam paddings. It was not that special if not the fact that the padding comes in two shape. Shape or type A and shape or type B. Shape A, this one is basically the same shape as the original faceplate. Not really a big difference besides the fact that it's made from the different material, the foam covered with fabric and you just take original faceplate out and put the replacement one in. For me, the really interesting one is the type B. Type B has slightly more material on the top, has slightly more material on the sides, but what's most important, it has much more foam sponge on the bottom, so the bottom of the goggles will be farther away from your eyes, will not be falling down, and as the result, you will be able to see the bottom part of the screen's Perfectly. The installation process of the replacement foam is, well, quite simple but not perfect. To cut cost and to simplify the manufacturing, the replacement faceplate does not have those pegs that goes into the hole in the goggles. Instead, you get the adhesive velcro type sticker over here with small hooks on one side and the adhesive on the second. You glue this to the goggles and then you can just put the faceplate on the goggles like this and the faceplate will be locked perfectly in. Okay, maybe not perfectly, but good enough. So what's your experience with the comfort of using DJI goggles too? Please drop them in the comments so we can have a nice discussion on this topic. As a result, for me, the comfort level of the goggles too raised considerably. There is still some light leakage from the bottom, from the nose area, but at least the goggles, the optics are moved away from my eyes and they are no longer falling down like the old goggles were and I can see clearly 
the bottom part of the LCDs. Come on, it's amazing. Yes, I know that DJI right now also has the second shape of the faceplate, but come on, you should have been doing this from the very beginning. Not like half a year after you released the goggles. And I really do like the material on this faceplate because I was never really sold on the rubberized thingy on the original one. Here's the next video you should watch. In the meantime, this was the FPV University. I'm Paweł Spychalski. Thank you very much for watching and like always, happy flying!